Now, pretty much all of you that have ever watched any of my videos know by no means am I a fan of Dolph Ziggler. That said, I will give the guy credit for one thing. He overcame being Kerwin White's caddy and being a male cheerleader and parlayed that into a decade plus long career with WWE making a decent living doing so. With no real discernible talent to me. I mean Dolph Ziggler is like one of the ultimate con men in the business today. You have a lot of people that became fans of his over the years, even though a lot of people I think have cooled on him over the years because maybe they finally got exposed to the truth and the reality of who Dolph Ziggler is and most importantly what he isn't. But he fooled a lot of people into thinking he was a whole lot better than he really was, a whole lot more talented than he actually was, and he's been able to rip off the WWE for a shit ton of money for a decade plus. And for that and that alone, I salute him. He has been able to con the Titan Tower machine out of a few million dollars. But as you can imagine, when I saw some of the comments he recently made on the Edge and Christian podcast about his position in the company and his thoughts about the future and whether or not it might be time for him to leave and go elsewhere, I'm kind of salivating at the mouth at the possibility that Dolph Ziggler might finally be leaving the WWE. This is great. This is a moment of excitement for anyone and everyone. Because after so many years of listening to people on the internet talk about how great he was, and I think he was one of those guys that really started to get me to distance myself from the hardcore in internet fan base as much as I could possibly be, even though I am definitely a part of it was I looked at somebody like Dolph Ziggler and I said, if this is the type of guy that people believe is a top talent, if this is the type of guy that people believe they should build a wrestling company around, if this is the type of guy that people think should be a multiple time world champion, the face of a brand, the main eventer of a WrestleMania, that to me that showed just how sad and pathetic the WWE and the wrestling business had become as a whole. Because so much of this guy's career to me in WWE has largely been crap. It's exactly what it is. The one time I think I ever truly found Dolph Ziggler even remotely interesting was when he was just kind of reestablishing himself in the mid-card. And he was going up to everybody and anybody and shaking their hands or trying to shake their hands and saying, Hello, I'm Dolph Ziggler. It was just something kind of annoying but kind of cool about that. But that shit's gone almost a decade ago. Just about everything about Dolph Ziggler is stupid. People talk about how great he is in the ring. No, his flippy floppy fish flopping selling ass shit is not good. It's not entertaining. It's not quality storytelling. It's just crap. His offense sucks. His matches kind of follow the same type of formula and they're not a particularly good one. He has absolutely no personality to speak of, absolutely zero charisma that ever shows through. His mic skills are atrocious after all these years. I mean, he's been doing it for over a decade. And if you can't figure out how to cut an effective promo that isn't some type of shoot or work shoot promo on the WWE app or some crap, then you just fucking suck. Your character has sucked over the years. Like the show off. He calls himself the show off. What the hell has this dude been showing off all this time? The fact that he can rip off so many other people, like that's the only thing he's showing off is that he is the rip off. From doing the Famouser to over usage of the super kick to doing the sleeper to doing everything. There is nothing new, cool, original about Dolph Ziggler and frankly there never has been. And I cannot believe for the life of me that so many nerds, and that's what you deserve to be called for this, and that goes even to my boy Tasteless Tony T from back in the day. Well, I don't know what the hell any of you nerds ever saw in this freaking guy as a talent. He sucks. He always has sucked. He currently sucks massive dong and will continue to do so. From his stupid little twisties, middle school girl type of haircut, to his freaking tights that look all types of sissy-ish and suspect-ish, 
Like, looking at it as a grown-ass man, and I look at somebody like Dolph Ziggler, what is there that makes him somebody that I would like to root for, that I would like to get behind, that I would like to cheer? The answer is very simple, nothing. If I want to see a Famouser, I'll go back and watch Billy Gunn clips from back of the day when he actually did it right. If I want to watch the super kick, I will watch Shawn Michaels. If I want to watch the figure four, I'll go watch Ric Flair. Hell, I'll watch The Miz, who even when he botches, he does it massively better than Dolph Ziggler ever could. And all of his whining and pouting on that ENC podcast, talking about the position that he's in, that he's kind of a gatekeeper for guys that are coming up through NXT, and that wins and losses don't matter except to a guy that's losing all the time, and people know that he's losing all the time. Oh, boo freaking who? You were given chance after chance and opportunity after opportunity over the years, and that is a fact. Now, we could argue about what quality of opportunity Dolph Ziggler was given and how much of a real opportunity he was given, and those are fair, valid points and debates to have. But ultimately, the guy was a multiple-time, multiple-time mid-card champion. He's been given plenty of television time via Raw and SmackDown, plenty of pay-per-view time over the years to truly get himself 100% over and he has just failed to do so. He was given the money in the bank, he was associated with people such as Vicky Guerrero and AJ Lee, they gave him opportunities, they gave him chances and you know what, some point in time, even if a company isn't fully committed and Vince surely was never fully committed to Dolph Ziggler, well, that's part of the reason why it wasn't as effective as it could be, that is part of the blame, but ultimately you must look at the talent too, you, you must say, the guy just wasn't good enough. He was given so many opportunities and it just ultimately didn't work that maybe he just wasn't that level of guy. And that's exactly what it was. I mean, when do you look back at Dolph Ziggler's career and think about a lot of memorable matches? I mean, really, truly, honestly, what has this guy done that has really mattered or been significant or truly been memorable? The answer is about Jack fucking Squat. When I hear talk or see talk or see Dolph Ziggler talk about getting rid of his stench from WWE and you could just see he's so beaten down and I'm like, yes, continue to beat this mother humper down so that way he gets the hell out of the way, so that way he stops taking up a spot and wasting his time, wasting other people's time, wasting the fans' time with this mediocre hot garbage. He's like the Young Bucks in singles wrestler form with none of the athletic prowess that those two fucking spot monkeys have. Like, what does Dolph Ziggler do that is redeeming, that is any damn good whatsoever? And to me, the answer at this point in time in his career, for sure, is absolutely nothing. All of those years where he sat there and talked about being the Shaw, what were you showing off other than being a ripoff? There was nothing interesting, compelling, or different about this guy. Literally everything he did was some type of repackage, some type of crap. And people used to get pissed at me when I said he was Jeff Jarrett 2.0 minus the guitar, and that's exactly who the fuck he was. A guy that's a much bigger deal in his own mind that you have a certain subsection of fans thought he was much better than the reality of who he actually was. That dude has been hot garbage forever. And it's been good to see people finally starting to get off of the Dolph Ziggler kick and kind of coming to their senses here and being like, hey, you know what? I just don't care about him anymore. And you shouldn't. Because wow, the WWE is not this pepper pot of incredible talent at this point in time. That ship has long since come and gone for Dolph Ziggler to matter or be significant. And all he is doing is taking up opportunity and television time for somebody else who probably could do it at least as well as him, if not better, and probably better. I used to come on here in the old reviews with the old crew and I'd make fun of the show off crowd because I'd be like, he literally does nothing to show off. And then I would do something like handstands or so forth to actually show off. Everything about him is stupid. He never bothered to actually work to get any damn better. He was just too busy trying to rip off other people and copy other people instead of becoming something unique in and of himself. So it's good. I'll be glad if he leaves WWE. And frankly, for Nick Nemeth, this is probably the best thing he could do at this point. He's made a decent amount of money over the past decade plus. 
Go do stupid crap at ROH or Impact or New Japan or go work the indie scene. You have enough name recognition, but you could command a couple thousand per indie appearance and make a decent living. And there you would have more flexibility to maybe actually go outside of the box and actually try to push some boundaries and actually do something interesting, compelling, or at least different. Because otherwise, all Dolph Ziggler is is an entertain, entertainment vacuum for 10 or 15 minutes every week on your television. And that's exactly who he's been for a long, long time. Like Dolph Ziggler to me is one of those guys that you look back through the scope of history in 5, 10 years and you wonder why you were ever big on him to begin with and what the hell the big deal was and why the hell he ever got half of what he did. And I know there's still going to be those staunch supporters and defenders that are going to say all types of hot diarrhea garbage with their flaming keyboard fingers of fire in the comment section. Good, I don't care. Because it's the WWE trying to appeal to numbskulls like you that prop up half-ass talent ham and eggers like Dolph Ziggler that has helped put the business and the product and the company in the goddamn shape it is in. We went from larger-than-life personalities that could really unite the crowd to guys like Dolph Ziggler. Like, at least I could say with Daniel Bryan, even when I wasn't a big fan of his, at least I could say he could get the crowd universally behind him and he had so much personal more personality and charisma and at least was effective enough on the microphone to have multiple layers to his character. All of those things that Dolph Ziggler has never bothered to develop because he does not have the talent or the desire or ability to develop. Dolph Ziggler leaving the WWE would be a great thing for all people involved up to and including Nick Nemeth. It needs to happen. It must happen. And I can't wait for it to happen. And when it does finally happen, whether it is soon or down the road, I assure you, we will come on here and we will throw one big massive party. And at the end of it all, you know what we're going to do. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler. The piece of crap out of here. Tired of even talking about him or hearing about him, suspect sissy ass. This stupid guy liner and his dumb ass tights. And his freaking twisty middle school hair, girl's haircut. Oh, and his pink shirts and all this other stupid crap. This is a type of crap that makes me hate what wrestling has become today. Because people actually support lame fucks like him. <laughs>